Hello and welcome. In this video, we explain what happens when you upgrade a PC from Windows XP to Windows Vista Business. In our example case, we used a Dell Latitude D620 Notebook PC, starting from Windows XP Service Pack 2 and winding up with Windows Vista Business Service Pack 1 installed. We assume you've already done your homework on your target machine and have used the Windows Vista Upgrade Advisor to inspect and fix any potential hardware issues this tool can identify. For the Dell PC we used for our example, we had to update its BIOS and upgrade several drivers to make it ready for the upgrade. We also had to review the program's list of potential compatibility problems to make sure nothing important appeared on this list. Fortunately for us, nothing did. You begin the upgrade process by inserting the Windows Vista install DVD into the machine's optical drive, then selecting install now from the selection menu that appears on the screen by default. Once you make that selection, a prompt screen appears that lets you either elect to grab the latest updates online during installation or simply work with what's on the DVD by itself and apply updates later. We elected to handle updates during installation as indicated in the item selected on the screen. After this, the Vista installer goes off to search for installation updates and then downloads them. Once this initial stage is complete, you must provide a valid product key for Windows Vista. Next comes the Obligatory End User License Agreement, or EULA, which you must accept before installation can get underway. Finally, you must indicate whether you want to perform an upgrade or a custom install. We're upgrading, so that's the selection we make as shown on the screen. As a final double check, the Vista installer runs a compatibility check using the aforementioned Windows Vista Upgrade Advisor to check the PC before beginning the installation process. If it finds any potential issues, it reports them as shown, and you can click the More Information hyperlink to see a list of potential issues for your consideration. As we mentioned, None of our issues were important enough to worry about, so we proceeded with the process unhindered. You will have to make that call for yourself, but should probably do so before starting installation after running the Upgrade Advisor in advance to assess your upgrade posture. With these preliminaries dispensed with, the Windows Vista upgrade process begins in earnest. The installer works through copying files from the DVD to your hard disk and then gathers necessary files together where it needs to work on them. File expansion for cabinet and compressed files follows next, after which the Vista installer actually begins installing the operating system, plus its features and updates. Completing the upgrade involves updating device drivers and updating software already installed on your machine to make it Vista compliant. The first four phases took about an hour and a half to complete on our example PC. The fifth and final phase took nearly as long to finish all by itself, about 75 minutes altogether. At the conclusion of the five-step process, Windows Vista returns to interact with you a little bit. It asks you to identify your time zone and verify date and time information, then asks you to choose what kind of settings to apply. We recommend the Use Recommended Settings selection showing on the screen because it requires the smallest amount of post-install cleanup work to complete the process once the installer finishes up. Next comes something we've never seen from Microsoft before, a thank you for the time and effort involved in making the upgrade. Total elapsed time to this point for our example machine was just shy of three hours, two hours and 45 minutes to be exact. With that work completed, you might like to think you were completely finished, but you're not. In the background, chances are nearly 100% that Windows Update is still applying updates to your PC and will keep that up for some time. It took nearly another hour for that process to complete on our example PC, 
and we've seen other instances where it took even longer. You'll also want to visit Windows Update to see if any updates fail to apply properly, and then take necessary steps to get them working. We hit two snags during our post-install checkup, but we were able to resolve them with a little help from the Vista Upgrade Center technical support staff, which Microsoft makes available at no charge for email assistance to Vista users. As a final step in the upgrade process, we visited driveragent.com to see how well Vista did in upgrading our PC's drivers for Vista. Results weren't bad at all. 80% of drivers up to date and only 20% in need of replacement. It took us about another 40 minutes to grab and apply all the necessary drivers, after which driver agent gave us a clean bill of health. Total time elapsed for Vista installation, Windows update cleanup, and driver installs was just under five hours. You should expect to spend about the same amount of time for any PC with the usual complement of software installed, including multimedia, productivity tools, and the typical grab bag of other programs such as image editors, internet tools, security widgets, and general utilities. As we recommended in our upgrade prep story, you should have a backup of your old system handy in case anything goes wrong during the Vista install process. As long as you use a tool such as Acronis True Image that permits you to create a boot DVD that can also find and restore your backup from a drive image somewhere, things can go completely south with Vista and you should still be able to get back to work in under an hour. Of course, that means you'll also need to figure out what went wrong so you can fix things and try again, but with the right prep work and a little luck, one upgrade attempt should be all you'll need to get the job done. For more information on Windows Vista and all facets of your digital lifestyle, please visit digitallanding.com.